Yeah, yeah, as long as the compensation's fair, I think you'll be fine. I mean, yeah, yeah, people no, will I jump just... through. I mean, you offer somebody ten thousand dollars. People will do a lot of work for ten thousand dollars. You know what I mean? It's yeah. uh, it's uh, you know, everything's balanced on, on workload. You know, as long as you pay them appropriately, I mean, people will do a lot for you. People are happy to work, and there's a you know, there's a very different mindset. And you, when I used to have, I used to run an internship program. I have a couple of college degrees. I'm alumni. Nice. We ran a, an internship program, and I originally would hire two to three interns per semester. And I learned very quickly that I, I didn't, I guess it was my own problem, I didn't have the best hiring skills. I always picked people that were not going to pan out, but were good at interviewing. And then I learned over time that I would hire eight interns, and then I would just give them a bonus at the end of the semester if they stayed. And, and the people who you, um, you wouldn't expect, you know, Limited people skills, at least in media, in media production, limited people skills, you know, uh, had a hard time carrying on a conversation. I mean, those guys, they just wanted to come to work, do what they were told, and then go home. They were great, great employees. And actually, and I, I know this from experience, if you hire somebody who has entrepreneurial um, aspirations, in a traditional form, not as a freelancer. If you hire them as a freelancer, entrepreneurs are very good with their clients because they live and breathe by their clients. But if you traditional hire, like you come and punch a clock, hire an entrepreneur, I mean, you can tell right out of the gate that they have their own ideas and like you can give them a formula. Like let's say that you wanted somebody to create a flyer for a plumber in San Diego that is exactly for the same flyer but with different colors and different logo than the plumber that you have in New Jersey, right? Just for example. Um, you know, if you have an entrepreneurial type individual, they're going to take a lot of liberties with that. They're not going to do exactly as they're told because, you know, as entrepreneurs, we like to do our own thing. We like to kind of be out of the box. And that is what, you know, creates our passion. But when hiring people, those are actually characteristics that you really want to watch out for. Yes, uh, you're right. And it's those people that, that don't want to, you know, they don't want to, um, they don't have any entrepreneurial spirit. You know, in an entrepreneurial spirit, could be seen, I mean, if you look at it from both sides of the fence, it could be seen as a very hard road to go down. It's, it's a lot more profitable in most cases, I guess in, in some cases, than working for somebody else, but, but it's a lot more challenging too, you know? So there's a lot of people out there that are so content and happy with, you know, let me just get a job, you know, and then let's say it's a $80,000 a year job. They just live their life in an $80,000 a year budget, lifestyle, and they're happy. You know, and and I uh, and just to, the last thing I want to say is, you know, as as I saw the, the tide there saying how awesome entrepreneurs are, employees are awesome too, and uh, are almost more awesome I would say uh, than, than entrepreneurs, especially in a, in a hiring situation. So that's all I have to say on that. No, you're right. You're right because if we hired only entrepreneurs, you know how difficult it would be to get people to do what we're asking them to do because they would be like, no, I want to do it this way and I, I got my own vision for this and, I'm, and I'd be like, well, go start your own company then. And that's uh, what so, would happen too is, is yes. they would actually start their own uh, mini shows, you know, and, and you'll see it over time. I mean, a lot of my uh, mentors have seen it many, many times and, and you know, you'll see it. Somebody else on this show, not maybe tonight, but somebody else on the show, maybe once you get to 100 folks or whatever, you'll see them create their own show and their own deal, you know? And, yeah. and then, But that's how you know you got a good, viable product. Exactly. you got other people that, that can see the value in it. And so yep. competitors, a lot of times, don't, they haven't worked out all the bugs, and so a lot of times they'll fail. But your competitors will come from this show, I, I can almost guarantee you. Maybe, it's probably because you're, you work only, you only on the head on the show, on the and there's no reason to have employees on here. They don't care. Um, yeah. But anyways, that's all I had to say. I don't want to take up too much time. Employees are awesome. <laughs> no, well, you can't have you can't be an entrepreneur without employees because how are you going to run a business if you don't hire anybody? That'd be ridiculous. Hey, I started a business. Who do you employ? Uh, well, I don't employ anybody. Well, <laughs> then you'll be working at it. So you do need employees. But the interesting thing is, two of our friends, and they've been on here a few times, Rick and Cheryl, actually one day came to us and said, we started the Aloha Hour. I'm like, hmm, where have I heard that before? And then, I, I believe it was a, a few weeks down, uh, they don't do it anymore, but one of our friends, David H. Paul, used to come on the show. They also started a format very similar to that, where they open discussion, 
hangouts and all that type of thing. And a lot of people are yeah. not saying, I have a patent, I'm going to chase people down. But a lot of people have actually taken, oh, I like this power hour idea, I like this entrepreneur idea, and then shape it to their own way. And believe me, uh, the problem that happened with me as a teenager was I always wanted to work on computers and learn how to do cool things. I wasn't necessarily entrepreneurial, but I didn't want to go with the flow. Then when I got to college, I wanted to get good at speaking in front of groups because you need to do that to graduate. Well, people said, whoa, whoa, wait. Computer science majors aren't supposed to be good on camera. Computer science majors aren't supposed to be good I totally on agree with you. And I'm like, what? Why is the business teacher like so shocked that someone who works on computers can communicate? I think <laughs> more of that. But yeah. anyway, I don't want to be, you know, crazy and be, because there are people who are like that. But the, the fundamental fact came down is I wanted to break all the rules. At least I wanted to break all the rules of what they defined as somebody who was a geek, somebody who was your typical nine to five guy. And even though I do work one uh, and the security helps while I'm building this, it's not my end goal. And the people who I get to know, I get to know more say, yeah, I'm an entrepreneur. I want freedom of time. I want my own creation. And I'm working through that with the site. I'm working through that with the computer skills I learned. That, and I'm also doing that by being on video and coming back to how does that help me get rid of stress? I was so stressful being in the mold, playing in the mold. And when I broke out of it and when I said, here's all the things I'm capable of, it changed into a whole new dimension. So that's all I wanted to say. Any last thoughts, comments, words, insults, you know, Dan, Josh, Randy? I just agree with you, Kareem. And, um, and, and I'll bet you, I'll bet you, you're not their favorite employee <laughs> because you probably. Are, are a little bit outside of the box, which is good though, you know? Yeah. They, they probably see that and, and I'll be honest, uh, you know, a little bit of vulnerability here. I got fired from most of the jobs that I had and I got, uh, I had people that I trained get promoted above me from other jobs that I had. Oh. Yeah, and it was, um, it was because I didn't, you know, I always had ideas. I always wanted to do my own thing and I always wanted, you know, to, to streamline things and stuff like that, and, and they wanted, um, you know, someone. And I know how, I know exactly why they did it. Now that I'm, I have employees, I know exactly why they did it. It's because I always had too many of my own ideas, and they wanted me to just do what I was told to do. You know? Yeah. No, it's crazy. If, uh, people look at me working funny because I'm like, guys, I have a testimonial, a fiver testimonial, and I'm hanging out, literally behind a brick wall like this with my phone saying, oh, I love, you know, this new website I looked at. It's a really great idea and recording a bunch of that and then uploading them. I'm like, yeah. what are you doing? Why do you have an e-cigarette one day and you have a pest repellent thing one day and you're dressing fancy and doing business things? And it's kind of crazy because then I'm like talking, then I actually almost got in trouble. Uh, my boss told me about this. He's like, stop being on the phone so much. And why was I on the phone? Well, uh, and here's the interesting thing. I tell my family and my girlfriend and all the people I hang out with not to talk to me, but my friend, who's an internet marketer, I'll go out and talk to him be like, what do you think are some good ideas? How are you going to build a funnel? He was giving me ideas on how to build funnels and stuff. And that's my way of actually de-stressing is figuring out, hmm, I can do these alternate things while everybody's saying job paycheck, job paycheck. I try stuff on Fiverr, upload things to YouTube on my phone. Here's the cool thing about what you what you did is just for example if you did two of those fiber things inside of that hour you probably doubled your hourly income you know you probably made twice as much money as the guy sitting next to you just doing two fiber deals you know I don't know how much money you make but but I would imagine you become close to doubling your take-home hourly rate um, just by doing two fiber videos you know so you're, you're out there trying to make money which is awesome I don't know if you can hear me. No, oh, I can. I can definitely hear you. Here's the interesting thing. Yeah, it's not. I can't like you know hop off and leave the boat yet. But yes, I can. And here's the thing that takes stress off. Hey, I have another way to make income. I have another way to make income. Most people, are like, woo, and I have something I love doing. So it's the passion combined with something I really like doing. And I, I actually woke up today. 
And I'm going to say this. Yeah, I've made some money. Yeah, it's cool. But I got something better than money. I'm going to share my screen. Well, at least I think it's better than money. I had this dude I was working with. I showed you before. And uh, I don't know if you can see this. But I wake up in the morning. I'm looking through, you know, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, what do I have to do on Fiverr today? Because I usually do a gig or two and it gets me like 10, 15 bucks a day. Maybe something like that. But, awesome. but the nice thing is the testimonials really make you feel pumped. And one guy said, probably got the best one, Cream's an amazing guy who'll go to any length to satisfy the customer. He's so helpful that I almost felt guilty asking him for revisions, but once he showed me but not once he showed disinterest plus he is quite talented and he treats every gig as a learning experience with his patience and hard working nature I'm sure he will always be a hit with the customers I don't know if you guys can see that that is a great testimonial cream and I, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna hire you guys to do videos and I'm gonna pay you in testimonials <laughs> no wait no he paid me he paid me dollars no we need money for that Josh <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just he said he said it's better than money and I just thought that was no funny. well it is it is but <laughs> no it's not it's not no no it's not well it, it can, okay here's it's a combination thing. the combination is good yeah yeah we still need your testimonial Josh <laughs> yeah that's true that's true <laughs> <laughs> Hello, we still need your vi and Dan, we need yours too. Yet yeah, your video testimonial, guys, come on, get on it. Yeah, it'll take you five minutes, guys, come on. But it's run way past the hour, so I gotta shut this baby down. I want to thank Josh, yes, Randall. Mr. Rev Media over there. Thanks, yeah, Mr. <laughs> hey, thanks, guys. Awesome to be on. We love you, man. Cedric, Leon, Leon, Randall. Uh, I said Randall, Fran, Fran. and. Bill Maybauer, even though he couldn't make it, we still in speed. Oh, yeah, Bill's always here. And Marsha. All right, guys, take a deep load off. Cheers. Take a breath. Have fun. The stress. Someone gave me a great idea. He said, you know, party when you're in college, keep partying, have fun. When you get out of the workforce, keep partying, have fun. Keep enjoying life because one thing happens. Life keeps going on. And the workload maybe gets higher, maybe gets lower, but if you can handle the stress, if you can overcome the stress, then you will be somebody who can create something like this show, a book you really love, a blog post you really love, or a video you really love, or just enjoy life if you're not an entrepreneur and you're watching this. All right, this is Screen with the Entrepreneur Power Hour. Rock on and have a stress-free night. Goals. They are the only thing that separates successful people from unsuccessful people. Now, you might also be asking, well, what else separates the successful from the unsuccessful? And... What it is, is it's the desire for more, to have more, to do more, and to be more. Remember that everything you want in life can be obtained by increasing your services to others. The more you serve and help others, the greater your rewards will be. Now, if you remember, I talked about this in a previous video. Contribution equals rewards. The law of cause and effect plays no favorites. It returns to you what you give. This is why people who try to get something from nothing are only fooling themselves. The universe will give you all you desire if your desire is to help others achieve their greatness. That's the way it works. So, let us help you find that drive, that passion, and that desire to help others achieve their greatness.
Hello, I'm Chris Peters and welcome to the Entrepreneur Power Hour Saturday Night Personal Development Series. 